Man United 6, Roma 2, Edinson Cavani, man of the match performance. I'm shouting a little bit. I think he was man of the match. Was Bruno Fernandes man of the match? Was Paul Pogba man of the match? Manchester United there. Absolutely stunning second half of football against Roma, against a team which were terrible. But a team which after that first 45 minutes, you didn't know what was really going to happen in that game. Man United going 1-0 up. A wonderful goal. Pogba with his run. Cavani with the pass. Bruno Fernandes. Then they get the penalty. That's a ridiculous decision, in my opinion, anyway. You might disagree with that. But I think you're wrong. Because I don't think that was a penalty. And United with Fred and, and McTominay midfield. It seemed like the double pivot was holding United back. And we weren't really going at, going at Roma. And then the second half happened. And I need to try and figure out who scored all the damn goals. Because so much happened in that second half. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, that semi-final hoodoo is gone. That tie is done. United 6, Roma 2, game, set and match. We are in the Europa League final against, by the looks of it, Villarreal. Given what happened in their first leg tonight. But who was your man of the match? What's your overall feeling? You know, we went into that game and we were joking about, ah, it was 7-1 against Roma last time. It'd be lovely to have that again. We just had eight goals against Roma again. It's just this time we scored six and they scored two. But United, we like to do it the hard way, don't we? We like to go behind and then we like to come from behind and storm it. And not only did we storm it there, we blew Roma out of the water in that second half. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm trying to look at when the goals went in here. Cavani straight after half time. Cavani again, then Pogba, then Greenwood at the end and Bruno Fernandes. Thrown in the middle there with another penalty. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And from where United were in that first half, it seemed at one point that we seemed a bit stagnant. It seemed like it was going to be another one of those games where it sort of passed us by. Even though we had so much of the ball, Paul Scholes said it there. It's, about, it's not just about possession. It's about quality possession. And that, that's one thing I still think United don't do with Fred and McTominay in the middle. The ball passes on. It goes through that that midfield so quickly because they, they're not comfortable just knocking it around to each other. It's not really their style of play. They try and get it to Rashford or to Bruno or to Cavani or Popper as quickly as possible. That's what happens in our midfield. But despite that, I mean, given how crap Roma were, it's not a surprise to see United coming out from that game with three points at the end of it. We deserved it. We were the better team. And tonight really showed the levels that there is to Bruno Fernandes's game, to Paul Popper's game, and to Edinson Cavani's game. We've got to make sure that we try our goddamn hardest to keep Cavani at the club this summer. Because I don't think we're going to go and sign Erling Haaland. Not for the 100, 150 million. I don't think we're going to sign Harry Kane either. If we can't sign either of those, we well, first of all, we should a striker is not a priority in my opinion. And given the fact that we've just scored six there in a, in a European semi-final, it might say that our attack is not the biggest problem. I think United need to go all out to keep Cavani. And maybe he is that unhappy or that he wants to be close to family that he won't stay. But it will be such a goddamn shame if Cavani doesn't hear that chant and hear his name being sung by the Stretford end. Because that performance there tonight was just mustard. From the first pass to Bruno Fernandes's goal to the finish, the outrageous finish that he had at the start of the second half. He just like unnecessarily put it on a postcard right in the top corner. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And it wasn't just that. And it wasn't just the outside of the boot pass to Green. But it was just the overall panache to his game. And it's the way I would describe Cavani, Bruno and Popper's performances. All of them equally men of the match, I would argue. Because it would be harsh not to say how good Bruno Fernandes was. Two goals and two assists. My God, I was hoping that Bruno and Pobble would turn up tonight and they didn't just turn up. They stole the show with Cavani. Happy days. Because going into that game, we're all a little bit worried. You know, the Euro not the Europa League semi-final, but semi-finals in general, you know, they have they have United have come unstuck at, at those points quite a lot. But tonight we emphatically put those that concept of a hoodoo to bed. And we've done it from coming from behind. And I, it almost seems like we do it on purpose now. It really genuinely, it's happened so damn often that you're thinking, you know, I just conceded on purpose. 
just so we can come from behind to win. Because we always do it. We always do it. And that win there means that we can go into the second leg with some supreme confidence. We now know that if we score one, they've got to score five, and that's not going to happen, judging by that performance tonight. And a quick special shout out, by the way, to someone who I haven't really mentioned so far because I didn't think anybody really expected him to have a good game, but he really surprised me, showed real commitment to the badge, and just Chris Smalling was absolutely outstanding in that game there. One of his best, certainly his best, not in a United shirt, and it was just it was just great to see, really. But you know, given given how damp football has been, that's best way I would just, just damp and miserable and just drizzly. I would describe football over the last few months as a fan. Watching that there and just watching an exciting United team not stopping at 3-2, not stopping at 4-2, not stopping at 5-2, only just about stopping at 6-2. That's what I want to see. That's the excitement. You know, when your team's going forward, you can get excited about your team scoring. When your team's defending, you just you live in fear. You go inside your shell because you might concede. And it's of the emotions that you want as a football fan. You want more of the attacking ones. You want more of the excitement and the concept that your team might be going forward to do something sexy. And United tonight, some of those goals were up there with goals of the season. Really, really were. Paul Pogba, I'm not, I mean, it certainly wasn't Paul Pogba's header, but <laughs> he scored a cracking header. Greenwood, a decent finish after a lovely pass from Cavani. Every one of those goals had world-class elements in them. And Bruno Fernandes' goal and Edison Cavani's goals were world-class finishes. And fantastic penalties as well from Bruno Fernandes. You can't underestimate how important it is to have a good penalty taker. But United there putting Roma to the sword. Beautiful to see. You love to see it. United are in the Europa League final as far as I'm concerned. That is tie done. If it, was, if it ended 3-2, 4-2... Sonic is still on the line. We ended 6-2. Good night, Rome. Good night, Roma. Thank you, Chris Smalling. We'll send you the bribe in the post. But who was your man of the match? What's your reaction to that game there? I can't not give it to Cavani, but equally so. Bruno deserved it and Pogba deserved it. Shaw was excellent. wan was okay. Maguire, he needs to work on that goddamn offside trap. He really does. Lindelof, don't really need to talk about him. McTominay and Fred, until... We get to a point where Solskjaer trusts somebody to play in that role. We're always, we're always going to be hampered by that because that double pivot holds us back. But we just scored six. Doesn't hold us back that much. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this match reaction. United six, Roma two, Europa League final. More than one foot in it, I would say.